Next up, we have Crossed, and that was recommended by Jackie. So go ahead. Uh, Crossed is uh, it's by Avatar Press, and it's uh, written by Garth Ennis, art by Jason Burroughs. They collaborated before on um, Chronicles of Wormwood, which was also awesome. You know, it. I've been on the show twice before, and I spent the last two episodes complaining about the reading list, <laughs> famously. And uh, uh, I thought it was too girly and not gritty enough. I started reading comics on Why the Last Man and Preacher, and you know where the breasts are being cut off, and there's vomiting blood and dying, and lots of violence and grit. <laughs> and uh, and I love Garth Ennis; he's my favorite. But his stuff is usually filthy, dirty, and and depraved, but tempered with with dark humor. And this. There, it's just depravity. <laughs> There's no humor in it, and it might be a little too much even for me. Uh, I know, I know. Um, Brian Kelly, the guy who sells me my comics at Detroit Comics, Ferndale, Michigan. Um, <laughs> when I bought my last issue, number four, he said, you know, tell me what you think about this and, and where they killed the kids, and that was just too much. That was too much for me. And he's this, like, big manic guy who reads tons of comics, tattoo sleeves, he's all burly and, you know, angry looking. And, and for him to say, that's too much for me in a comic book, you know, I was paying attention when I read it. Tell them what they're, it's about first, though. Oh, Have sorry. we even okay. gone there yet? No, no. <laughs> because this, okay, sorry. It, it, it deserves some kind of setup. It's at least <laughs> that it's oh. a bad zombie. It's sort, of a, it's sort of a zombie story, but they're yeah, not true. zombies. They're not the undead. They're, they're alive, and you, they're identified by this cross-shaped rash on their faces, and uh, they're, they're not dead. They're not thoughtless. They're not mindless, you know, zombies, yeah. brains. They're thinking. Yeah, everything they could do before they contracted whatever it is they have they can do now, like drive what man drive airplanes, cars, drive tanks, cars. Yeah, <laughs> each other, but, they, but but it goes to an extreme where they're like spewing vulgarities and they're raping and they're exactly. pillaging they're, they're, and they're ripping they're each other apart. But they're they're invincible, so they they like they can walk around. It's like with they're buildings. on lots of drugs. They're yeah. they're suddenly uh, committed to exploring every depraved, vile, psychotic, mm -hmm. sadistic thought they've ever had, and they're really good at it. Yep. And they're getting better. Um, now, Brian said the killing the kids was too much, and the, the story behind that is that the group of survivors comes across this, like, half a class of kindergarten kids whose teacher was keeping the safe, now she's dead, and they've been surviving by killing wayward travelers and eating them. And you can't just leave them, and you can't take them because they're a liability, so they murder this room full of kids. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> no, no, what I thought, and as horrible as that is, I thought it was funny that Brian picked that one thing as, as yeah. the thing he's going to yeah. single out yeah. And, yeah. and be all appalled about. It's nowhere near the worst thing in this no. book. The yeah. one I, I like almost one. human thing that they sh don't show, which is that, like the, the humans dealing with humans, but they show everything else. And not only that, they show them in a splash page. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. a double page spread yeah. of people yeah. getting raped over here. Horrifying. Uh, people, yeah. you know. I read four issues oh. on a lunch break at work. I almost couldn't work the rest of the day. It really affected but, me. And uh, I love Garth Ennis. I, I but. like, to be honest, though, like, okay, at some points, the vulgarity kind of got to me. And I was like, Ugh. but I, in a way, still liked it because it didn't. It didn't go straight into why why all of a sudden the zombies went out. It was just like boom, something's happening, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden everybody's getting infected. And what do you do? And I like that because it was kind of survivalist. Mm -hmm. It was different from zombies because it's not you like you guys are right. Like it's not like this. But and, and they're getting smarter. <laughs> they're getting more intelligent. And even one of the characters, and it's it gets quite interesting. And this is why I'd want to read it more because it seems like it goes a bit deeper. Is that if they're able to learn and if they're able to do a lot of things that they were doing back then, then people start questioning. Well. Are they human? And is maybe is this something that like is evolutionary? Like what? I, I like the questions that it asked. I can see that, but my thing with it is, I, I like Preacher and I like Garth Ennis, but I almost think that he wrote this to see how far he could push it, how far he could like go with his ideas, and how dirty and filthy he could make things, and how grimy and everything about that. I almost think that he did it on purpose to see, I'm gonna see, just, just to see who buys mm -hmm. it and reads it and actually appreciates it. Because for me, it's like, this is him thinking like, it's just crud. I'm just gonna like spew this 
on a page. I really agree with you. I think that, like, I've had this argument with Mike many times that, that Garth Ennis gets by on shock value and blah, blah, blah. And, I, and I've always defended it, but there's some shock value, yeah, but it's a solid story, good character development, and the shock is just extra bang for your buck, right? Yeah. And, and in this, this is, <laughs> yeah, right. this, is uh, this is him saying, yeah, well, I'll give you something to cry about. Yeah. You know, this is him... It's just, it's, it's going it over the edge. It's like, it's, it's like not stopping at anything. It's Maybe. like mm-hmm. nothing. Just here, here it's it like, is for you. For me, however, it, it breaks boundaries because it's the first zombie story that I've ever read where some of the zombies are actually characters. Yeah. They're yeah. not yeah. just backdrop. I, I'm not know? scared of zombies. I'm not. Zombie stories, whatever. Post-apocalyptic, uh-huh. who cares? But this, these Things, whatever the heck they are, <laughs> they can do what they did before, and that frightens and the life out of me. Yeah. yeah, and so that is yeah. a good that is a good idea. It's a good idea buried in filth, and that's <laughs> why it's, it's <laughs> unfortunate. Well it's unfortunate. But, but but in the end, though, would you guys would you guys recommend it to people or no? I I would I would recommend it and and kind of put like a precursor to it, saying, yeah. well, if you like this, uh-huh. you m- might like it. And hopefully you don't. They don't think that yeah. you know you're judging them. Really. Yeah. If you like all this crazy, horrible, awful stuff, we'll go ahead and then, read yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead and read it. <laughs> Joel, would you? Recommend I wouldn't it? recommend it. I would say if you like to experience things and you're open to experiencing things, then you should experience this book. But I wouldn't say, oh, go out and read this book because you like that. I can't. I can't because I like the boys. I would never give this to someone that likes the boys. Right. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I don't. I think I'd recommend it either. Um, I'm going to give it at least a few more issues because yeah. I want to know where they're going with it. Yeah. I, I want some story. Um, but I'm already reading Walking Dead, and that's already a great survival story, and I don't think I necessarily need another one. Right. I would recommend it, but it would depend on the friend. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you yeah. You have, like, a serial rapist friend or something. Yeah, yeah. probably <laughs> them. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we are going to come up next with the Wolverine movie. Take it away. Yeah.